everyone, come learn chords of a worship song with me. In this particular video, I will be looking at the song Build My Life, which was written by Pat Barrett. According to what my worship leader wanted, he stated that he wanted to lead this particular song in E major. So before we get into what you could like play and things like that, let's learn what the key of E major entails and what particular chords and notes that we can play. So the E major scale entails what? The E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, and E. Now, what in the world does this have to do with the chords that we're going to play? Well, let's find out. In the key of E major, there's going to be a particular chord, which is this one. It's the E, G sharp, and B chord. So whenever you see an E major chord, you would always play either E, G sharp, or B. When you see an A major chord, you could play the notes A, C sharp, and E. For F sharp minor, we could play the notes F sharp, A, or C. For the B major chord, we could either play a B, D sharp, or F sharp. And then lastly, we could play a C sharp, E, or G sharp whenever we see the C sharp minor chord. Now, I understand that for these chords that you see here, all the sharps on the left are basically written in. And the reason why I place those instead of actually putting the key signature of the four sharps on the left is because I think it's important to remember that there are particular notes that have to be sharp and as string players and even for myself too we can forget to play those extra sharps and those high threes or high twos when we're supposed to so that's why i kind of place them like this so let's now get into actually analyzing the song a little disclaimer before we get started with this particular version of build my life there's a doxology and we'll look at that later As we take a look at verse 1, there are the chords E major, A major, and C sharp minor, right? So let's get started with writing the E major chord. Now what does the E major chord entail? Well, it entails the E natural, the G sharp, and the B natural. The next chord that we see here is the A major. And what does the A major consist of? It consists of A natural, C sharp, and E natural. And there we go, we have two chords down. Now the next chord we have is a C sharp minor. Don't worry about it being hard, it's actually not as hard as you think, it's just C sharp, E, and G sharp like we reviewed in the first part of the video. And there we have it, we basically have all the three chords that we need to play through the first page of Build My Life. Next, we look at the chorus of the song. And notice that we still have A major, we have E major, C sharp minor, but now we have another chord. Do you know what it is? Let's see if you can find it. If we have the E major, A major, and C sharp minor chord in the chorus, now what we have left is the F sharp minor chord. So if you guessed it as F sharp minor being the only chord we're missing, then you're correct. So then what does the F sharp minor chord consist of? Well, it consists of F sharp, A, and C sharp. Now we're able to play through verse 1, verse 2, and the chorus. And if you notice throughout the rest of the song, verses 3 and 4, as well as the chorus being repeated again, have the same exact chords as the ones we just analyzed on the first and second page. And now comes the bridge, right? So out of all of the other chords we looked at, there is one more, and that was the B major chord. So what did we remember of what the B major chord consists of? A B natural, a D sharp, and F sharp. So now we can play the B major chord as we play the bridge. In the doxology, you notice that there are other particular chords that might scare you a little bit, but they're not as scary as you might think they are. For example, the F sharp minor chord is written here F sharp minor seven, which basically is going to be the same as an F sharp minor chord. It's just gonna be played as a seventh chord. And the same concept applies for the A major 7. You would just go ahead and choose one of the three notes of the A major chord. Most of the time, you wouldn't have to worry about doing anything fancy. 
I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!